Hi there True Direction, hope you're all okay. So today's True Direction is all about the parable of the Great Feast. It's a story that tells everybody about an invitation to a great big party, God's party, and how we are all invited. If you've got a True Direction pack, then I've made up some of these mini stories that explain uh, the Bible verse. The Bible verse is Matthew 22, 1 to 14, the parable of the great feast. This is a really nice way of explaining what that parable is all about. So one day Jesus told a story about a rich man who planned a special feast. He gave his servant a list of people to invite. He was planning to have the best party ever. The servants delivered all the invitations, but the guests made excuses because they didn't want to come to the party. They thought they had more important things to do. The rich man was angry. He told his servants to go into the streets and invite the poor, the hungry, the homeless and the sick, and they could come to his party. The people couldn't believe that they would be invited to such a special event. The rich man and his new guests had a great time. Jesus told the people that God invites us into his house for a special celebration. But we must always put him first. Jesus does not want us to miss out. So the parable of the great feast tells us a story about God's party. The party that God has planned for us is actually the, is a party where we can all go and be with God forever. He invites everybody to this party. Now, as you can see in the story, some of those people decide to make excuses about going to the party. And what God is telling us, and Jesus explains in the Bible, is that sometimes when we try and tell people about God, or when people go to church, other people won't want to go. Some people might even make fun of people that go to church or who are Christians. Some people might just decide that they don't believe in a God, in, God, in a God or God at all. So God knows that some people are actually going to say no to his invitation, but he still has that invitation open for everybody. So people that might have an excuse, in the case of the great feast party, people who might say they're busy, they've got something else on, God's invitation is there for us all. So if we change our mind, if we find that we're not busy, then God's invitation is still there for us. In the True Direction pack that I've prepared this week, if you're working from one, then the activities for craft, food and game are all actually the same, same thing. So what I'm asking you to do when it's convenient is to have a little tea party. So you might want to go to town on this and set up a tea party on a certain date and uh, have cakes and sandwiches. Or if you don't, you can always just make your lunch or your dinner into that party. So I've set up my table with some cakes and some party things. And what I thought would be fun is if you perhaps go around your house and make it into, if you want to, make it into a doll's tea party or a teddy bear's picnic. But think of the excuses they might make. So maybe if you've got a dog or a cat, the cat can't come because he's having a nap. Or maybe you've got a toy that decides that no, they can't come because they're stuck up in the loft. So you can see all these excuses why you can't come to the party. So if you're having that party, you might feel a bit sad, all these excuses. So this is how God will feel when people don't want to come to his party or come to live with him. But what's really important to remember is that if you put God first, then you're going to go to the party. Oh, Luke's at the party. What have you got? You got a whizzy thing? What have you got? Luke's got some of the, um, the party 
novelties that are also in your party packs if, you've, uh, if you're working from a True Direction pack. So set up your, your tea party, uh, maybe put some food out, maybe play a game. So the game that's suggested... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> we, we, we will perhaps see that party thing in a minute. So the game that I've suggested, just to make a really easy game, I think some of you will know it is Kim's game, where you cover up the stuff on your party table and you take something away and then people have to remember uh, or guess what, what it is that you've taken away from the table. <laughs> While we continue with our party here, um, we will, so yeah, actually, yeah, we can carry on with our party because I've told you all about the party that you're going to have. The next thing we'll look at is the prayer activity. Okay, so we are back in the party room. You might be able to hear Luke playing with one of the party novelties in the background. This is our prayer activity. If you've got a Bible, then this is what we're going to use for today's prayer. And the prayer is just going to be thinking about how this Bible is an invitation for us. This is actually the party invitation. So you might be used to getting party invitations in the post or from your friends. But think of this Bible as the invitation. In here is everything about God and about Jesus. And it's telling us how we can accept Jesus. And it tells us about how he died on the cross. Jesus. And if we accept Jesus as our saviour, then we are invited to that party. And lastly, as we, um, as we look at the Bible and think about it, if you haven't got a Bible, it doesn't matter. You might be able to look up uh, about Bible verses on the internet. Um, or even if you just think about what is in the Bible. What might be quite fun, be interesting to see what happens, if you open your Bible and see whereabouts you open it. What, what page do you open it at? So I've just opened mine at the Psalms. You might find you open it at a really meaningful Bible verse, or maybe you just see a word in the Bible that is really relevant to you and your family today. Be interesting to see what ha um, what you get if you if you do that activity. Um, but but as you do it, just be, you know, be praying as you as you open the Bible that that you will find something that's really relevant for you. Might give it a go with Luke, see what we get. Yeah. Luke, can you open the Bible for me? Oh, well, that, that's perfect because you've actually opened it at the beginning, which is quite simply good news. So that's lovely. Well, enjoy your Sunday, True Directioners. Enjoy your tea party with your family. Get your family involved with all these activities and have a great week.